Jude chapter 1 verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also ye filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. I want to start off by saying call halalai yahweh bashim shai which is Hebrew which means all praises to the father yahweh in the name of the son yahweh shai I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to all the lords hope for elect scattered abroad teaching his word of sincerity and truth all right here's an article that the brother a brother in the camp Shapur, um he sent this to me a couple of days ago and uh, this is from Independent, all right? And this is uh, Joe Biden says LGBT rights will be numbered one priority if he wins 2020 election. Rights will be his number one priority if he wins 2020 election. And as if this place, North America, has not enough homosexual rights, all right? And uh, this is for the race of president presidency in 2020. And Joe Biden says LGBT rights will be his number one priority if he wins 2020 election. Right now, this is Joe Biden, which you should know. All right. Um, let's see here. It says Mr. Biden takes aim at the current vice president for using religious freedom as a way to license discrimination board areas board areas and deny lgbt basic rights now if this was a god-fearing place in which they say uh god bless america that is totally a lie all right it says Mr. Biden takes aim at the current vice president for using religious freedom. All right. Because first off, you know, the Bible is how this place was established. Esau used it. He flipped it. He took on the uh, he took on, you know, the foundation of the scriptures and used it according to his kingdom. But he did everything backwards. All right. And in the Bible, you know, it says what? Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 if any man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them I'm gonna read it again Leviticus chapter 20 and 13 if any man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. Now it says, Mr. Biden takes aim at the current vice president for using religious freedom as a way to license discrimination, uh, board areas, and denying LGBT basic rights. So this is clearly going against the Bible. It's going against the Most High. All right. And then they say, they did Esau. He turns around and says that God bless America. God didn't bless this place. All right. This was a, a blessing that was given to your forefather Esau. And the Most High is just that merciful and that righteous that he allowed Esau to have his rule. All right. But, um, excuse me. This is Second Edges chapter six and six. Then that then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Then answered I and said, What shall be the part in the sunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? 
And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. So this is truly the time that Esau is in the end and he's going all out, you know, as if homosexuality doesn't have enough rights. All right. And this is clearly against the scriptures. You're in violation. And once again, you know, the, like the Lord said, you know, these iniquities shall increase. You know, it shall reach the clouds, man, shall pierce the clouds. All right. And the fact. See something. This is Revelations chapter 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquity. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, fill her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she say in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, all right, we're talking about these other nations that, that have lived deliciously with the ways of North America, these, these uh, Edomites, it says, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Because ultimately, this place, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, a.k.a. North America, is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. It says, verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, at last, at last, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour is thou judgment come. All right. So this place is on its way out, man. All right. Joe Biden says LGBT rights will be his number one priority if he wins the 2020 election. Now it says Democratic, Democratic credential candidate Joe Biden has said enshrined LGBT protection into the nation's labor and civil rights law would be his main priority if he wins the White House. Passing the Equality Act will be the first thing he would ask to be done, he said during a keynote address to hundreds of activists at the Human Rights Camp Human Rights Campaign's annual Ohio Gala on the first day of the Pride Month. The first day of the Pride Month. You see? Esau passed in laws. Just like they have here in New Jersey, they said by the, by 2020, they're going to start teaching children history of the LGBT. All right. Which what history does LGBT has? If you're going to teach it, go back to go back to the Bible where it tells you about Sodom and Gomorrah in the five cities like manna. All right. And this is why I read this scripture, because the aftermath of uh, of, of cities living in this manner. Okay, they're going to be destroyed. This is Jude chapter 1 verse 7. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And this is why this place is going to burn. You're going to burn, man. All right. And this is just based on playing on votes. You know, these elites that run the earth, they don't care about you guys being homosexuals. They just it's playing a game. All right. And they know that this place is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire, by the vengeance of the most high. All right. Pride month. What is that? Come on now. All right. It says the Equality Act will, ex will expand the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And the Fair Housing Act to ban discrimination in, in appointment, housing, jury selection, and public a con a condemnation based on sexual orientation and gender identity. 
all right? Because you got confused individuals that believe in their mind. If they believe that they're the opposite sex, then you supposed to respect them and call themselves of who they are. When our reality, the Lord only created man and woman. If you was created with a testicles and a rod between your legs, you are a man. If you was created with a cleavage, all right, which you call regina, okay, you are a female. There's no confusion, all right? But this, what we're living in is the land of confusion, all right? This is why it's called Babylon the Great. You had ancient Babylon, which the Hamites, the so-called Africans root, and now we in a mystery Babylon, which is really no longer a mystery, all right? We're in the new Babylon, in which the Lord said, we shall, uh, we shall uh, see Egypt no more, but return on ships into Egypt again, all right? So this is Babylon, okay, which is the land of confusion. It says, it passed the Democratic Control House last month with support from every member of the party in office, but it will not become law under Mr. Trump and the Republican Senate who will refuse to rectify it, who will refuse to rectify it. That means LGBT residents in dozens of states are still subject to various forms of discrimination that are either specifically allowed or not barred by the state law. Mr. Biden condemned the Trump administration during his speech. He hit out in attempts. He hit out at attempts to bar transgender troops in the U.S. military allowing medical workers to refuse treatment to, to members of LGBT, community and homeless shelters to bar transgender people. So here it is, you know, he's looking to, you know, further push homosexuality upon everyone and this and their homosexual behavior, man. You know, this is, this, 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 you can read this article, I'll leave this link. You know, Joe Biden says LGBT rights will be his number one priority if he wins 2020 election you know but this just proves that this place america is going to be destroyed all right and by the way of you know by the vengeance of the most high you know you edomites is something else man this is why the bible and the lord said he hated esau but he loved jacob you are truly you are truly truly the sons of the wicked and um as i'm thinking of the scripture here i'm gonna get it real quick this is job chapter 9 verse 24 it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? So the earth is given into the hand of the sons of the wicked. And that's you Edomites, Esau, Edom, you so-called white people. All right. This is strictly Bible talk. The most high is speaking. All right. You know, you can't make this up. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because who are the true judges? The heavenly father and his son. And the Israelites, all right, Yasha Allah, the prince of the power, he prince power, all right, it says he covered the faces of the judges thereof, you cover the faces of our true Messiah, you paint this image as if this character who you call Jesus Christ is the Messiah of the scriptures, and that's not true, and then when we confront with the image, you say that why does color matter, if color didn't matter, why did you paint an image of yourself as as the the messiah all right if color didn't matter when the bible the bible clearly gives you the depiction and 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 um how, and shows you how the lord yahweh shai who the world ignorantly called jesus christ looks all right so it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces of the judges thereof all right you you covered you you covered the angels all right you paint them as if they were edomites you know you you wife you whitewashed our images going back to the Renaissance, all right, called iconoclasm. Okay. You know, you want to erase the dark ages as if, you know, um the so-called Negroes didn't rule the world at the time. All right. You want to whitewash those pictures and forget that time. But in that time, you were in the caves. And when you came out, all right, 
that's when you call what renaissance rebirth okay so it says um if not where and who is he if this edomite is not the devil that the bible speaks of if not then then where is he who is he then all right who painted themselves all right as the image of the messiah the scriptures and got the whole world believing in this character called jesus christ you know i'll leave that to you that's that's, that's simple man all right now let me get another precept this is uh deuteronomy chapter 32 and 32 it says the vine it says um the vine for their vine is the vine of sodom and of the fields of gomorrah their grapes are the grapes of gall their clusters are bitter their wine is as the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of apps is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures right but the point is verse 32 for their vine is the vine of sodom okay you eat of mice are, are naturally homosexuals by nature okay it says you know you could go back into your own history go into the roman the romans when the romans ruled the world all right go back to the greeks and look at that history you know you practice homosexual and pedophilia all right having sex with little boys and um may i mention also they're looking they're looking to um to uh implement pedosexual behavior as as a right as a right all right you have what they call so-called scholars are saying that society must accept pedophilia behavior you know, so I like to say, like I said before, you know, when Obama was president and he passed laws for homosexuals to be married. All right. He opened the gates of hell. He opened the gates of all unlawful sex. You know, now we in 2019 and you have uh, these these this woman. I don't know her name, but she's supposed to be a scholar. And she said that society should accept pedophilia behavior. I'm not making this up, man. It says, For their vine is the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are the grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. All right? And uh, for my last scripture here is, uh, let's get Romans 1 and 22. It says, Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image made like to corruptible men, into birds, into four footed beasts, and creepy things. All right, it says, verse 24 Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And that's what the Most High did. He allowed you, you know. To go after the lust of your own hearts, man. You know, less than one toward another. Men with men, women with women. This is wrong according to the scriptures, man. It says, wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So when you commit a homosexual act, you are dishonoring your own body. You know, they never talk about the symptoms in which homosexuals, well, meaning men, all right, that they receive from being a homosexual. They never talk about those symptoms that you get, you know, the sickness that comes upon you. You know, a man popping another man in his in his in his a-hole, man. You know. Some of them guys loses the walls of their butthole and they have to wear back. You know, it's, it's disgusting, man. All right? It's a, and and it's nothing clean about same sex even with a woman or on a woman there's nothing clean about that you are dishonoring your own body verse 25 who changed the truth of god into a lie exactly who changed the truth of god into a lie oh was it obama because the government and the president passed laws on homosexual homosexual uh, uh marriage so that changed god's mind because the government did it the government is not the most high all right and the government this same government okay 
is the same one that wants you to worship them as the Most High, which is these Edomites, which are the elite. The scriptures say they want to sit in the seat of the Most High. He wants to sit in the temple of the Most High. Who are the temple of the Most High? The Israelites. This is why ultimately their goal is to put what? To implement and incision uh, microchips inside of your body, which the Bible calls that the mark of the beast. And that's the end goal. Just like uh, the guy Aaron Russo said, their end goal is everyone to be microchip. It says, it says, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who was blessed forever? Our money. So now you're worshiping the creature more than you're worshiping the creator. You are allowing these Edomites. All right. To um, to um, uh, basically change your your mind. And basically have you go against the, the creator to worship him, the creature. He didn't create God. God created him. And let me say in, in better words, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right, which is the true name of the father and the true name of the son. Okay, basically, the Most High created you Edomites. So it says, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who was blessed forever our money? For this cause, the Most High gave them up to, to unto vow affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So it's against nature. All right. This is why a man and a man can't have a baby. All right. Can't produce a baby naturally. This is why a woman and a woman cannot produce a baby naturally. Because by nature, by law of nature and genetics, Okay, when a man and a woman lay down with each other, now they can repropriate. Now they can bring forth life. Now man can bring forth, uh, bring forth uh, his his nation. Okay, through the seed that he carries. Women doesn't carry seed. Men do. Okay. It says, for this cause, the Most High gave them up to vile affection. Even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature and this proves that there's nothing new under the sun and this was done before in the past all right in the mate in the major cities was sodom and gomorrah and in, in the five cities like manna that was round about it man okay so this is nothing new this is why i started off the the lesson with job one and seven all right where it says uh anyone that shall um uh matter of fact let me get it real quick Uh, Jude 1 and 7 and it says even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh because it's strange to be going after same sex it says and set for an example the suffering the, the vengeance of eternal fire so this uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and five cities in like manner was an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire which came from Yahweh all right the heavenly father he rained brimstones of fire out the heavens upon these cities and destroyed them so how much more here in Babylon the great ultimately going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire man it says verse 27 Romans 1 27 and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of a woman burn in their lust one toward another Men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of error, which was me. All right. So don't get mad at the video. Go into your Bible and read. If you call yourself believing in God, then you must believe in the scriptures in which the Most High placed here for us to know. All right. Which was written by man, but inspired by the Most High. Okay. <laughs> People want to get emotional about this but it's bible all right so it is if you mad at the fact that that i'm condemning homosexuality then that means that you hate the most high all right uh verse 28 it says and even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge see you don't want to retain the most high in your knowledge in the knowledge man you don't you, you don't have the understanding 
All right. It says you don't want it. You reject it. It says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. So you now are basically a reprobate. All right. Which means void of judgment. You believe that you're void of judgment. You have a reprobate mind to do these things which are not convenient. All right. So, you know, that's basically the lesson um, as the title reads. As the title reads, Joe Biden says LGBT rights will be his number one priority if he wins 2020 election. All right. Uh, this is an article uh, the brother sent me. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's will for elect. Shalom.